feel like I don't have enough highlighter on. I'm just gonna highlight my whole body. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I feel like I'm looking a bit too glam. I don't know, I just haven't done my makeup properly in ages. I haven't done like, you know, like eyeshadow and eyeliner um, for ages. I don't even have lashes on, but I just feel so like extra right now, just because for the past couple of weeks, I literally haven't done winged eyeliner. I think I've done it in like one video, but in my real life, I've done winged liner like none times. <laughs> zero times none at all I haven't done winged liner just because it's been so hot and I just cannot be bothered with my makeup and I've also been kind of like going for a more natural natural look and just like wearing mascara so I don't know I feel a bit weird but in today's video I thought I would talk about my June favorites I oh, god I cannot believe it's July already yeah, it literally is July, like, wow. I actually have quite a few products this month that I haven't really been loving, um, which I will include as well. Um, so if you wanna see the different things that I've been liking and not liking, then just keep watching. So my first favorite of June is actually what I've been wearing on my lips, like, pretty much, like, every day. If I am going out somewhere and I don't know what color to wear, then I will literally just whack this on. I also have it on my lips right now. This is the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Virgin. And I just want to say, I have no kind of like affiliations with Morphe or anything. Um, like I don't have a Morphe code or anything like that. Um, I just was very kindly sent a couple of these from Beauty Bay because obviously Beauty Bay, if you're in the UK and Europe, they stock like Morphe stuff so we can get our hands on them. I think these are £10.50. I think that's what it said. I'm pretty sure these are £10.50. Um, but yeah, the shade Virgin is actually the only one that I've tried. I have got a bunch of others which I might do a kind of like Morphe worth the hype type of video where I um, talk about like the eyeshadow palettes, liquid lipsticks, brushes and stuff like that and give you guys like my honest thoughts and opinions on them. If you'd be interested in that then let me know down below. Um, but yeah, out of all of the colours that I have, I've only tried this one which is called Virgin and I absolutely love it. I love the formula, I love the colour, like it's so pretty. It is completely matte, like uh, transfer proof, but it doesn't like fully dry out your lips. Like. I feel like it still has a little bit of moisture in there. I mean, it is still like a little bit dry, but it's really not drying, um, if you get what I mean. And this is pretty much a dupe for the Ofra Liquid Lipstick and Sao Paulo. Like, they are so, so similar. Also, the, the formula of the Morphe ones actually reminds me of the Ofra ones quite a lot. And it smells really nice as well, which is also a bonus because I love liquid lipsticks, it smells good. The Ofra ones still win, but the Morphe one is like very close behind. But if I just swatch these next to each other, they are so similar. This is the Morphe one, this is the Ofra one. I feel like the Ofra one is just a tiny bit lighter and a tiny bit more peachy. But yeah, this is my first favourite. I've been really, really liking it, so there we go. Next favourite is kind of a random one. It's actually a brush. I've been absolutely loving this brush for my contour. I just thought I would throw it in here because I literally use it every day. This is the Spectrum A05 brush. Um, one, it looks really cool. Like, how cool is this kind of like petrol style rainbow thingy? Um, it's got like turquoise and black bristles. I just think it looks cool, but also it performs really, really well. I just love using this for contour. I don't know why, but I feel like, why well, I'm sticking it on my nose. I feel like when I use a smaller brush to contour, it ends up getting a bit more patchy and like the product sticks to one area and I've been finding that using this because it's like a little bit bigger um what I tend to do is I put like the product on the brush I dip my brush into my powder contour and then I will use the kind of end bit if I want to get like a precise bit and then I will just like blend it all together with this and it's also like really good for around your hairline and stuff I just think it's a really good contour brush don't know why I've been loving um angled brushes recently but that's all I've been using for my contour so this one is a good one. You can get them on the Spe Spectrum website as well. Um, I will link all the products in the description box, but yeah, really like this brush. The next favourite of mine I also have on my face right now. This is actually a mascara, and you're probably thinking, so another mascara? You've just been raving about the L'Oreal Baby Roll, like, for ages and ages. And yes, I still absolutely love the Baby Roll, and I think the Baby Roll one is, like, a tiny bit better than this one. I do like it. It's still, like, my favourite mascara of the moment, but... I have absolutely been, absolutely been loving the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Um, I think this is pretty affordable as well. Um, it's probably like six or seven ninety nine. dollars um, So it's not quite as pricey as the L'Oreal one, I'm pretty sure. I think this might be a bit cheaper. 
I could be wrong there. It might be more expensive, but I'm pretty sure this is a bit cheaper. But I've been absolutely loving this. I don't know why. Um, I just started using it after I did... I used it in a first impression video and after that I just have been using it on and off since um, for the past week or so I've pretty much been using this every day um, and I love it I really like it I like how the brush is really kind of grippy it's got quite little short stubby bristles but I find that it just grips my lashes so well um, and it really gives a lot of volume the only downside to this one I would say is it can get a little bit clumpy um, but if you guys know me you know that I don't really mind having clumpy lashes because I just pinch the clumps off and then it isn't really a problem for me also I don't find that it kind of like transfers to my lower um, like under eyes throughout the day or anything even in the hot weather I found that this has been like holding up um, which is a good thing because sometimes when I test out mascaras I will really like them but then when I actually wear them throughout the day they like end up down here my next favorite is a bit random it's just beauty blenders and like sponges and stuff like that um, I actually have three here which I've been using like on and off but for some reason recently, I have only been using a beauty blender to blend my foundation and my concealer. What I would normally do before then is use like a buffing brush and then I use my finger for my concealer. But I've been converted to using beauty blenders. I don't know why. I think it's just because one day I got lazy and I couldn't be bothered to like get my fingers dirty with concealer. So I used my beauty blender and it does work really well. And these three are all kind of like a varying prices. I just kind of like switch between them depending on like which ones are clean. I normally would use like this one and then the next day I'll use this one and then I'll use this one and then I'll wash all of them. Um, yeah, so this one is the Real Techniques one, which I really, really like. Um, I then have the Makeup Revolution one, which I actually really like like as well this one is a bit more like I don't know I don't know how to describe the difference but I find that they pretty much just work the same um, and then the same as the beauty blender I find that I don't really get that much of differing finishes depending on which sponges I use um, out of these three I mean um, yeah these are just really good sponges and I will list the prices down below because I can't quite remember I think the real techniques one is $7.99 I think this one is $4.99 and I think the beauty blender is like ridiculous like 20 pounds or something um so yeah you know what i'm actually going to give away a beauty blender because i've been loving sponges so much if you've watched this far into the video i'm going to be giving away a beauty blender so if you want to win a beauty blender let's see how am i going to do this if you want to win a beauty blender just subscribe to my channel um and i don't know comment down below telling me that you would like to enter um and link your social medias so that i can contact you and yeah, one of you will win a beauty blender just because I'm feeling nice and I feel like you guys need to try one. <laughs> I do actually have a spare one, but like I don't need it. I feel like one of you guys should have it instead, so. My next favorite kind of goes in hand with that um, because I've been loving using a beauty blender with this particular concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have the shade, doesn't have a shade name on it. Oh, shade 15. Um, I think this is, well, I thought it was the lightest shade, but I think they might have a lighter one. I'm not sure, but obviously, I don't know if you can tell, I can't really use this one with my current skin colour. But when I've been fake tanning recently, um, I've been using the St. Moritz Medium Mousse. And it basically brought me up to a colour that is still paler than most people. Um, but it allowed me to use this concealer. So when I was a little bit more tanned, I was using this every day and I really like it, actually. Um, before I didn't like it just because it was too dark for me but when I do have a little bit of a tan this worked really well it blends out so nicely with the beauty blender it's so creamy and I don't find that it creases or anything so yeah I was really impressed with this little Maybelline Fit Me concealer and obviously again it's drugstore so super affordable I think it's like $4.99 maybe. My next favourite is actually a skincare one, um, which some of you guys might not be interested in, but I thought some of you guys might be, so I just thought I would mention it anyway, because I often get asked about my skincare. And I'm pretty sure in last month's favourites, or in one of my favourites videos, I've mentioned that I really love the Soap & Glory Speed Plump um, Moisturiser, the one in the squeezy tube, to kind of like prime my face, and it makes my face slightly tacky. Um, and I use that as like a primer. But I've recently discovered the Super Plump, no, Speed Plump Super Hydrating Overnight Miracle Moisture Mousse. Um, so this is like the overnight version of that. So I think this one is a bit more like heavy duty and thicker. And when you open it up, it's kind of like bubbly and like moussey. And it smells the same as the other one. It smells kind of like orangey. I don't know, it just smells fruity. I really like the smell, but I've been really, really liking using this overnight. Once I've taken off my fake up, <laughs> once I've taken off my makeup and like cleansed my face and everything, I would just put this all over my face and neck and it just feels so like refreshing and moisturizing. And then when I wake up and my skin is super like kind of hydrated, it just feels like it's had a nice 
drink. Okay, so moving on to the fails of this month. You guys will have seen if you watched my Jeffree Star review of his like summer chrome collection that I wasn't the greatest fan of, wait, let me open it. <laughs> I wasn't the greatest fan of the highlighter in Crystal Ball. And I tried it again the other day and I don't know, I just don't personally get along with it. Like if you really like this highlighter, then that is great. And I'm so happy that you like it. I don't know if I've got like a bad one. I just didn't get along with this personally. I find that it's just not as pigmented as his other highlighters. Like with Ice Cold, you can just go like this and then it's like got so much on your finger. But this one, I feel like the formula is just a little bit different and it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's just a little bit flaky, like, Oh, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, you can layer it up and it does look pretty. Um, but yeah, I just find that it's not as pigmented as his other ones. And I just wasn't impressed with this. And I feel like for the price, I wasn't really a fan, um, which sucks. So that is the first kind of fail of the month. The second fail of the month is actually a foundation. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my testing body shop makeup video. I just really did not get along with this foundation. This is the matte clay skin clarifying foundation. I have two different shades here. And if you watch the video, like I tried so hard to make this work, um, but by itself, it just wasn't working if, working for me. When I mixed it in with like another glowier foundation, um, and also I feel like if I mix this with some illuminating drops, it might make it a bit better. But I just found that the formula was just too thick and dry that I couldn't like blend it properly. Um, but then again, I do know some people that really like this foundation, so I don't know what I was doing wrong. Um, I just did not get along with this, but again, like I'm a massive fan of other body shop products, but these were just not my favorite. The next fail for me is actually a mascara. I also used it in the same, oh my God, my foot has got such bad pencil needles. The next fail for me is a mascara. I used this in the same video that I did um, the first impressions of the Maybelline mascara. This is the Rimmel Shake It Fresh. I feel like in the UK it's called Shake It Up. It's the, it's the one that you shake um, and it's supposed to like, pump up the volume or something like that I don't even know um, I can't remember what the advert is but yeah you're supposed to shake it and then it's supposed to give your lashes loads of volume and it's described as a clump free volume mascara um this just did not work for me it did nothing for my lashes like I just really didn't like it like if you like this mascara again I don't mean to offend you in the slightest and there are so many Rimmel products that I really really like but this just wasn't for me I didn't find that it gave me any volume or length and I think that the shaky thing is just a gimmick and it's actually really heavy like compared to my other foundations like it's a weighty mascara wait did I just say compared to my other foundations I'm trying to demonstrate on camera how heavy it is but it's it's not really working. Heavy. Sorry Rimmel, I do apologise. And then my final fail of the month is a eyeliner. This is the e.l.f. Um, I think it's just the black liquid liner. This is in charcoal. And again, I think I used it in that same first impressions video, but I just was not impressed with this at all. I've seen other people get along with this, but my one, I think I must have just got a bad one, but I don't like want to risk it again. Okay, I'm going to do a close up because it is so clumpy like my one is just so clumpy it's not liquidy it's just clumpy and also the brush as soon as i opened it has like a flick up at the end like the bottom of it kind of like goes like this instead of just going straight down and so it's literally impossible to get like a crisp line okay so here we go do you see how like clumpy this is and how the brush just kind of flicks up at the end I don't know where I need to hold it for you guys to be able to see that, but like when you dip it in, it's just, it comes out so clumpy and it's got all these like lumps. I don't know, it was just very confusing. Um, and I tried like shaking it and stuff and it's just kind of the same. Like, does this look like an eyeliner brush you want to use? Not me. But again, like I'm not trying to be shady to any of these brands that I talk about. Like I still do really like the brands. These products that I talked about just did not work for me. So there we go. I think that is actually it. Is that everything? Have I spoken about everything? I think so. So that is everything that I have for you guys for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Me having a little chat about what I've liked and what I've not liked. Um, I would love to know some of your favourites down below as well. Um, and yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely day. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, then I would love it if you would... Oh, I've just put my hand in a load of liquid lipstick. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe by just pressing the little button down below. And also, it would be amazing if you would turn on my notifications just so that you get notified 
notified whenever I upload because YouTube is being shit. And as always, if you want to keep up with me on social media or anything, they are all just Soph Does Nails. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.